Hello everyone. So last class we talked about uh, the introduction of defining class and object. So here we are going to see a couple of examples how we can do data processing with class. So last class we saw one example of uh, we saw one example of multi-sided dice. Means we can uh, create a class of dice. All right, where the number of side can be any number. It doesn't have to be number six. It can be any number okay then we talked about an another example where, where we can create a class definition for student okay so a group of information like this is uh, known as record and uh, so we uh, we are going to try to do a simple data processing example with those set of record okay so a typical university measures the grading by using uh, credit hours and total quality points okay and everything will be in the file all right so we are going to use that file uh, the file will look like that and uh, each line will have the student name credit hours and quality points okay and we're going to find the uh, we're going to find the gpa by dividing the quality points with the credit hours for each student okay so uh, what is our uh, job here we are going to write a program that will read the file to find the student with the base gpa and print out their name okay print out their name credit hours and gpa now what is going to be the start to place now as we are familiar as we are being familiar with object oriented programming okay so um, uh, here actually we are going to represent a represent a student okay we are going to represent a student with a uh, with a class definition because now when we are talking about a student a student is uh, also a complex type where each student is associated with multiple attribute all right or multiple feature so each student have a name okay each student has a name uh, he has a credit hours and he has total quality points and also we can do multiple tasks with the student okay because uh, what we can do with the student we are going to find calculate the gpa okay we can calculate the gpa and we can calculate the pre information of a student so if you want to know the name uh, quality points and each of the different information of student we can also do that so what actually we are going to do first we are going to group all the information together we are going to make a factory that that factory is going to uh, deliver us each of the student object and that factory we can create using a class definition okay so then we can use the student object to store all of these different information as an instance variable each uh, student is going to contain different information of each student so here how we are going to do okay so in this class we are going to see an example uh, actually we are going to see an example by writing code how we are going to define class okay so to define a class first job is to we have to figure out what will be the information of each student okay what information we want to store for each student so if we look at the file um, if we look at the file that we are going to do the data processing with uh, here each line contains the information of student and here what we have we have here that is the name of student credit hours okay and that's the quality point okay so at least if we uh, if we create a student object each student must have these three information okay and using this three information we are going to write a definition of class all right now what we are saying each student okay so that's a student each student will have name credit hours all right and quality points all right okay so a class definition of a any class that has a format class is the keyword class name okay and 
inside that that will create an indentation using following that indentation we are going to list all the class methods okay so the first method we are going to include is the constructor so as we talked about uh, that in the last class each class will have a constructor a class definition is like a factory and in that factory we are going to have like a machine or a constructor that will construct each of the different student okay and in python constructor has a special name underscore underscore in it underscore underscore okay and that function that constructor function is going to take the parameter for each of the attribute okay each of the attribute that we want that each student object should have okay and the first parameter will be self self that is going to be reference of the calling object okay all right now um, that will be actually our first job before we read the file okay first we are going to actually create a factory May means we are going to write a class definition that will create each of the student object all right so uh, we are going to see an example uh, by writing a code how we are going to do that okay so we are going to open our ideal uh, app okay and we are going to actually open a new file all right and let's save that all right so So first we are going to make a create a class definition and we are going to do the class definition we are going to create the class definition before we write our main function okay so the class the, uh, the class should be accessible uh, i mean uh, we are going to create the class definition before we write our main function that's very important that's not we are going to do anything inside the main function okay so first we are going to write a class definition so first we are going to use that keyword class okay then the name of the class so here we are going to use the name of the class student so the name of the class there is a convention that we follow to choose the name of the class the first letter should be the capital letter okay so that's just a convention okay uh, it is not going to make any complaint if you choose a class with a small letter okay but that's a convention because we are going to use that uh, name of the class to create uh, create other variable student object okay so that means this is going to use this is this is going to be used as a new class type user defined type all right so that's why we are going to choose the name we are going to pick the first letter as a capital letter okay so class class name okay then following the indentation we are going to list all the class method so the first method we are going to have the constructor okay so the constructor we write it the constructor like that underscore underscore in it underscore underscore so for each method usually for each method the first parameter is self okay and what will be all other parameters for the constructor in the constructor we are going to have all the parameters means all the attributes that we want each student object should have okay so we are going to have a parameter name okay credit hours and quality points okay and we are going to define that like as a regular function okay now as we said what is self self means it's a reference of the calling object okay so if we create a student object using that constructor that object will be uh, the that object will be referenced by self okay so means we are going to initialize all the attribute 
uh, we are going to initialize all the attribute of that object okay using the reference of self okay so how we are going to initialize them self dot name okay so this name is actually the attribute of the student class okay and i'm going to use this parameter to initialize this attribute all right then self dot credit hours is the parameter credit hours okay self dot q points equals to q points all right here name is the attribute of the object and this name is the name of the parameter okay and credit hour is the attribute of this class definition credit hour is the attribute of each student object and this will be initialized by the value of this parameter okay all right so that's the definition of our constructor so let's save that okay we are going to go back to our slide so uh, all right now So in this example we are using the float conversion because the name hour or q point it can be like in any other data format okay we want to handle them so let's do that uh, we want to use float we want to use the float conversion for credit hours and quality points okay so that means actually our factory is ready and our constructor is ready so we created a very basic definition of class okay that means this student class has three of these attributes name credit hours and coupons and here this name credit hours and coupons these are the name of the parameters okay so after i have this class definition and then the constructor i can create a student record means i can create a student object okay so let's see an example how we, i can do that so i can create a student object by that using the con calling the constructor so here when i will call the constructor the name of the constructor will be actually same as the class name so this is going to call the init function this is going to actually execute the init function but here we are going to use the name of the constructor as the class name same name as the class name okay and this is going to use the definition of the constructor and this is going to initialize the student object the name of the object here is a student all right and um, this is going to initialize a student by using those information so here it is our first parameter is name second parameter is hour and the third parameter is q point okay so as we said that we are not going to use the argument for self because here a student is the self parameter okay now here the coolest thing is that we can store all the information about a student in a single variable right so a student has all the variable okay here i don't have to three other variables to i don't need to uh, declare three other variables to uh, content to store all the variables to store all the information for each particular student i can have i can store all the information by using only one variable and that variable is a, a student and a student is now a variable of student type okay or also we can say that a student is an object of student type or a student is a student object or student instance so here what we can do okay so let's define a main function now okay i can create a object a student by calling the student constructor okay now give it a any name like f name comma l name okay and uh, credit hours let's say 128 credit hours and total quality point he has uh, 230 okay 
all right so i can find out actually all the information of student like print dot uh, credit hours all right so let's call the main function all right let's run the program So that's the information of this student so student has the first name i mean sorry student has the name uh, credit hours and the quality points and now the uh, interesting thing and the most coolest thing is that i can create as many student as i want okay i can create as many student as i want now if i have 100 student in my class all right i can have actually 100 student uh, I can create 100 student using calling that constructor okay each student will have different name different credit hours and different quality points okay so uh, obviously we need to be able to access this information so um, uh, here we, what we did we can actually do that we can actually do that that by uh, access each of the member variable each of the attribute by uh, using the dot operator okay i can do that but what actually we want to do we want to have this method inside the class okay we want to have this method inside the class for example i want to find the name of a student i want to find the hour of a student i want to find the q point uh, of a student or i want to calculate the gpa all right so these are all the behavior of a student that i want to have all right so that's actually what i'm going what we are going to do we are going to group all the methods together to define the class okay so let's do that let's complete our class definition by having more function now the function that is used to access the information that is known as accessor method so all the method here you can see that th that can be used to access the information and uh, the convention is that uh, not the uh, not actually requirement but it is the convention that the accessor method start with the word get okay like get name it is going to return the name of the student get hour it is going to return the hour of the student means this all of this method here will be used to access the information so uh, that's why they are known as a accessor method okay so let's write all the accessor method so typically actually um, typically we are going to write accessor method for each of the attribute of students okay so here uh, this student has uh, three attribute name credit hours and q points so we are going to define three accessor method okay at least we are going to define three accessor method so first accessor method will be get name okay so each of the accessor method is going to just return the name of the object so the first parameter uh, and the only parameter we are going to have self okay and it is going to return self dot name all right so the second accessor method we are going to have get uh, credit hours we need only one parameter so it is going to return self dot credit hours the third accessor method we want to return q points and it is going to return self dot q points all right so these are the some accessor methods i added 
all right so now instead of actually accessing the uh, uh, accessing the information explicitly by the name what we can do uh, we can access the information by using the accessor method for example get name all right that will return the name of the student so get um, credit hours so okay so i'll talk about that why it is the best behavior to access the information by accessor method instead of just the variable name okay all right so let's run that and you can see this is giving me the information of a particular student okay all right now let's see i want to have another uh, another method uh, which which will be actually a method to calculate the gpa so the main purpose uh, as we talked about that i want to calculate the gpa of each student okay then i will find the max gpa between all of the student but for each student i want to calculate the gpa so that one also i can consider that as a accessor method because i want to find the gpa okay but to calculate the gpa what information i need i need the quality point and the credit hours okay so let's define gpa okay as you know the first parameter will be self so i want to take the second parameter uh, uh, next two parameters like credit hours and quality points okay so i want to calculate the gpa like return self dot q points okay divided by self dot credit hours all right that's it so this is going to make the calculation this is going to divide quality points with the credit hours okay so and that will be the gpa so now let's print the gpa of each student so a student dot gpa okay uh sorry what i did um okay so here actually i don't need any parameters okay i'm going to use them but i don't need them as a parameter okay so um because the reason is that the student the class student has the information of the name uh, the credit hours and the quality points and he is going to use that and he is going to return he is going to calculate the gpa okay so in the definition of gpa i don't have to send them as a parameter i am going to send only the self only the reference of the object okay so now let's run that so here this is the gpa of the student okay so this is the name uh, credit hours quality points and that's the gpa of the first student uh, gpa of the student of the student a student all right so how can we use those tools to find the student with the best gpa so now uh, that is our basic class definition in this class definition we had um, here we had actually uh, the constructor the accessor method okay now using that uh, class definition we can create as many student as we uh, want okay if i have 100 student i can create 100 student now let's see all the information we have in the file so what actually we are going to do we are going to read the file okay the file can have like five student information five lines or 100 lines based on the number of lines i am going to create i am going to read each of the lines okay and then i am going to uh, create object for each of the line because each of the line contains the student information okay all right so so in the main function first in the main function what actually i am going to do 
I am going to read the file. Okay. So read the file. Then um, for each line, I am going to for each line, I am going to make a student. Okay. For each line, I am going to make a student. Okay. Now these two line is calculating the best GPA among all of the student. All right. So initially we are going to uh, we are going to assume that the uh, we are going to assume that the first student has the best score. Okay. Then we are going to uh, compare all other students GPA. Okay. Uh, we are going to uh, compare all other student GPA with the best score. And if the student has the best score, then this current best score we are going to make that score as a best score. Okay. We saw one of those example in one of our classes how to find like maximum number out of n numbers. Okay. So this is the idea we are going to follow here. All right. So then we are going to close the file and we are going to sorry and we are going to print the information print uh, especially the name our and gpa for that student for that particular student okay